Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Starfish and this is by Akimi Dawn Bowman. I was lucky enough to be sent a copy of this from the publisher which is um, Ink Road Publishing um, and this is being uh, released in the UK on the 5th of April uh, but this is already out in the US. So I read this this month in anticipation of the fact that it was coming out and I absolutely loved it. This tells the story of Kiko and Kiko is half Japanese, half American and um, she has grown up in a very sort of weird family shall we say. Her mother, mother is just an awful character. She she is American and her father is Japanese and the mother is just totally resenting of her and her brothers, of Kiko and her brothers in this book because of their Japanese heritage but they're never really taught much about their Japanese heritage at all really. Um, her mother ignores her, she plays all of these really sort of emotional blackmail games with her um that there's just it's, it's just awful i hated her mother's character with a passion um kiko is a really talented artist and she wants to get into this really prestigious school um in new york called prism which is an art school she's applied to go there and um, at the beginning of the book she receives a letter to say that she hasn't got in she's absolutely devastated um, and meanwhile her childhood one of her childhood friends who moved away to california has come back to sort of visit and he says well, why don't you come back to california and you can look at art schools in california and sort of see whether any of those kind of take your fancy and then the story kind of goes off from there and she learns about herself a little bit more and she learns to move on with her life and things like that and it's just absolutely fantastic what i particularly liked about this book was the commentary on anxiety and mental illness in this particular book so kiko has a lot of anxiety she doesn't always say what she's thinking for fear that she'll get some sort of I don't know come back or she just doesn't feel like she can express herself um, because of her anxiety I think that probably that's that's been brought on by her mother um, and the way that she's been with her um, and it's just it I mean I don't, I don't personally suffer with anxiety but I felt or well, I don't think I do anyway but I, I really felt myself connecting with Kiko's character there were just moments where she was talking about being at parties for example as a teenager and not really knowing how to communicate with people feeling like she was a bit of a wallflower feeling like she didn't really fit in and that kind of thing and I just I related to her character so much um, because of those things and the way that she was feeling and I felt like that so much as a teenager myself um, especially an early teenager I just felt like I didn't fit in properly I felt like I I couldn't have the the sort of same sort of relationships with people or with you know with friends because I found it really hard to make those relationships and to make conversation and that sort of idea and yeah I just really connected with her character and I just felt so emotionally involved in the story um what I really liked as well is that um at the end of each chapter it tells you what Kiko went away and drew so at the beginning of chapter one for example we just quickly flip to that it says a long chapter um, I paint a girl with white hair, blending into a forest of white trees, with stars exploding in the sky above them like shattering glass. If you don't know where to look for her, you might not see her at all. And it, that, that happens all the way through. And that's a really nice example of the, the way that this has been written as well. It's really, really beautifully written at times. I draw an invisible circle on the concrete with my finger. And just everything that she says at the end of the chapters is indicative of Kiko's feelings at that particular point. And it, she, um, Bowman just comes up with these really just beautiful metaphors that I really, really appreciated. Um, 
Look, I've talked about the fact that I love Kiko's character in here, but and I can't remember his name. Um, I can't remember her childhood friend's name. That is just... Is it Jamie? I think her childhood friend's name is Jamie. I can't believe I've just forgotten that, but I think it's Jamie. And I really liked his character as well, just because he was so understanding of what she was going through and he really sort of took his time with her and things like that and there is a bit of a romance in here but it wasn't the main focus and I thought it was done really well it wasn't insta love or anything like that it was just yeah it was just it was just well done basically um and there's another character in here that she meets an artist when she's out in California and I really liked his character as well and the sort of lines that the things that he said to her about life and about her heritage and things like that it was just really really lovely to read about um I wasn't expecting to like this book as much as I did maybe because it's YA or maybe because I'd never heard of it before when I got the email. I don't really know why, to be honest. I mean, the cover is absolutely stunning. Um, it's such a lovely colour and the the sort of silver foiling on here and the pictures in the background are amazing. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Something was sort of telling me that I might like it, but I didn't know whether I'd like it as much as I did. And I just absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars and it will remain with me for a long time. And I would definitely urge you to pick it up um if you're in the uk like i said it's out on the 5th of april so you can pre-order it now um, i'll leave a link down below to where you can uh, pre-order it um and if you're in the us then this is already out and you can get your hands on this and please please pick it up i thought i think it was such um, a lovely story really well written really well thought through um, great characterization and great commentary on anxiety um, and I loved it it was great so there you go guys that was my review of Starfish by Kimi Dawn Bowman I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below have you read this are you interested in picking it up now thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye